Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm out tonight for my second wild camp, solo wild camp. I'm at Burrator Reservoir today. Uh, I'm gonna camp on Sheep's Tour. Um, it's a bit of an impromptu camp today. Uh, I finished work about half three, quarter four. Uh, packed a bag really quickly and uh, I've already realized that I've forgotten half the stuff I do need and I've brought lots of stuff that I don't need. Uh, I have packed a really heavy um, radio, uh, a DB radio to listen to the football later on. Um, when you see the size of it, I uh, wish I hadn't brought it. I was hoping to camp relatively light today, uh, but when I weighed the, uh, the bag, it was about 24 kilos. Um, so pretty heavy. I've had to put the sunglasses on because it's uh, it is hot today. Uh, when I left the car, it was around 23 degrees. Um, so I think it's going to be a hot one. And carrying this weight, it's not going to be fun. Uh, the route around Barrator is around four miles and a lot of people cycle this route, walk it. It's quite popular with tourists at the weekend. Just taking a little detour off the, the main track and I come down to the, the water and the views are amazing. I'll just uh, spin you around a second. Look at that. This is about 15 minutes from my home. Oh, just was just being chased by the uh, the biggest bee in the world. It's like a rhino with wings. I am petrified of anything with wings. Bees, wasps, just hate them. And my body's reaction is just to sprint away. I think that stems from when I was younger. I was about 11, I think. I was drinking a can of lilt. And uh, what I thought was a nice... Kind of juicy pineapple turned out to be a wasp and that wasp <laughs> stung me in the mouth so ever since then i've been petrified of wasps or bees or anything that flies really of uh, squirrels running around and climbing trees and jumping right in front of me but as soon as I get the camera out they disappear. When you have ant day and all the flying ants are swarming around your face. Well, I'm pretty sure it's bee day today because I have been chased up this path by about 16 bees so far and I'm only about 30 minutes in. Glasses are slipping off my face because it's so hot. It's about 23 degrees. Just going back to that story about the uh, can of lilt and the pineapple. What idiot, even though I was 11, what idiot thinks there are pineapple in a can of lilt?
made it to the top of Sheep's Tour. I'm not sure if I am really unfit or I chose the wrong route or it's just extremely steep. But that was difficult. That was really, really hard. I was puffing all the way up and had to stop a couple of times for take a bit of water on. But it, it's, the view is worth it. I'll just spin you around to show you um, the view from this rock that I'm sitting on. How nice is that view? I'm sorry uh, Karen's gone wild, but I've got the sun again. I know you came out a couple of days ago, or a week ago, and you had rain. Well, unfortunately, I've got the sun again. I think I found a great place to pitch the tent. And look at that view. Just in the distance over there, you can just about see Jenny Cliff. And then I guess the other side is Cornwall. But the view is just amazing. about to pitch the tent and these two lovebirds have just turned up. They're on a rock kissing and cuddling like right in front of me. I could see that I was getting my uh, tent out but they still proceeded to uh, to sit right in front of me. Not only that, She's now continuously sneezing. She's sneezed about 15 times in a row. Wait, what, what is the camping etiquette? Should I wait? Should I wait till they leave? Or do you reckon I should just pitch it anyway? They're about 15 meters away. I just don't really know what to do. I'm just gonna sit here and drink my beer for a minute, but it's getting reasonably late. I wanna get the tent up. Two more people over there now as well. Talking of tents, I've gone for the stealth option tonight. Um, it's going to be extremely camouflaged in these uh, surroundings. Uh, you will not be able to see me. I'll do a scoot around in a second. Um, and uh, 10 points if you can uh, pick out my tent. I would say that none of you will be able to see that tent. Jesus, what the hell is that? So I'm in the uh, nature hike Mongar 2, I think it's called. I've had this a couple of months. It's a pretty good tent to be fair. Does the job. It's quite roomy. I think it's a two man tent. I'll just let you in. I can do it one handed, that is. Two man tent, it's pretty roomy. I've got lots of room in there. Got my bag in the other side. It's a, it's a two door tent, so it's quite handy if there's obviously if there is two of you. Um, but for me on my own, it gives me a lot of room. Got the bag on that side. Uh, sleeping wise, I've got Sea to Summit pillow. I've gone for the um, multi mat kind of blow up lilo, I would say. Um, sleeping wise, because the um, the sin mat, X bed sin mat, I thought probably a bit overkill for, for tonight. And again, I've gone for the um, down quilt that I got from um, AliExpress. I do really like this quilt. Um, I took it down to, I think it was minus three when my cousin and I went out and um, I was relatively warm. I wouldn't say I was I was snug, but I was, uh, I was okay. I've got the, uh, again, the gold zero, bag of bags. Number seven is at it again for Portugal in a major tournament. There's going to be a change here. We're going to see João Martinho. Second beer. Brooklyn Lager. Hoppy Amber Lager. 5.2%. Oh, that's 
It's not nice. Not nice at all. Not good. I had planned to do a um, ultralight uh, camp tonight. I, I've ordered a, um, a Sierra Designs uh, bivy from um, Valley and Peak. Annoyingly, it didn't come. So, um, so that's why I've come out in the, in the uh, nature hike tonight. Um, so my plans of going ultra light completely went out the window and now I've gone ultra heavy because I've got everything I do not need. The uh, seat, don't need. As I said earlier, I, uh, one thing I did need is a knife and fork. Good old co-op wooden cutlery set. Oh, look what these are like. Gee. Loads of them. I only thought it was one. Well, I've got quite a few for them for, for the next camp when I forget my spoon again. Pasta. Ice pack to keep things cool. Brew dog. Elvis juice. And then a salt tram double knife And then a stir in pasta sauce. And then a coffee for the morning. I am loving this spot. I've got an amazing view. The sun is slowly setting over there. I've got the radio on, I've got the football on, I've got a few beers, just had my pasta. Uh, wasn't as nice as what it looked. Well, not that it looked great, but it wasn't great. Um, I just want to, um, now that I've had a few moments to kind of relax, I just want to say thank you to um, to three people really. Uh, they've really encouraged me, they've sent me quite a few messages, they've publicised my channel, uh, my Instagram page, so I just want to say thank you to, to those three. Um, the first one is uh, Kerno Camps, um, he's got a really good channel, um, I know that he's relatively new to this as well. Um, I think he's done two or three videos. I'm sure I saw one um, pop up um, about 10 minutes ago. He's really, really enthusiastic. Um, he takes his dog, Dave, out with him. Really great guy. Um, you should really uh, check out his channel. The second one I'd like to, to thank is uh, Karen Goes Wild. Again, she has really, really um, encouraged me to, to get out and, and do lots of videos. She's given me quite a bit of guidance. She's um, publicised my channel on her Facebook account, uh, her Instagram page. Um, she's been really, really helpful. Uh, and it's really nice that there are people out there that, that will go out of their way to, to help you. Um, I'm relatively new to this this YouTube kind of Instagram sort of thing. Um, so it's really great to, to get some help from, from people that have um, been doing it for, for a while. Um, I know that Karen is also relatively new, but I know that she's got quite a few um, videos up, up on YouTube. Um, check out her channel. Uh, both of those channels are, are, are local as well, uh, to the southwest. So they, they kind of go to the same places that, that I can go to. Uh, I know that both of them have, have come to Sheep's Tour, where I am now. Uh, and I know that both of them um, have been to, to Foggin Tour um, and are planning trips uh, around the Merivale area. So it is really good that, that I can kind of crib off uh, off their video. The last one I'd like to thank is uh, M's Adventure. Well, I think it's M's underscore Adventure. Again, um, she's been really, really helpful. She sent me loads of encouraging messages. Um, it's really, really nice of her to, to do that. She doesn't live anywhere near me. She, she lives, um, I want to say Northumbria, but I, I could be completely wrong. She's got a posh um, Newcastle accent um, from her videos. Um, her channel's really good. I will put a link uh, to uh, her channel as, as as I will to the other two, 
well, as I, when I say that, I don't really know how to put a link up there, so I'll, I'll just put some kind of um, link at the bottom of the uh, the description. But um, so yeah, so they're really really good channels. Um, check them out; uh, they are really good. You can definitely tell this is an impromptu um, camp. I've just put a jacket on, well, a hoodie. I've got nothing else to keep me warm. And I've just realized that I look like a lifeguard. Look at me. So I'm stood on Dartmoor in bright red, shorts and a top with a purple tent. Amazing. Just gone eight o'clock. Look at that. It's so peaceful. Nobody else here. Probably my last video of the night. We've been eaten alive by midges tonight. Time to invest in a midge net, I think. As I said earlier, I hate everything that flies. The tent there. Obviously you can't see it, but it's still a camouflage. Good morning just gone five past five I had a really good sleep last night um there was some again weird noises outside um I think there was some frisky sheep um right outside my tent <laughs> or the uh or that couple uh, had returned to uh finish what they uh they got interrupted doing earlier on should we open up the tent see what sort of morning we've got I had a little tent disco before I went to bed last night, which you would have seen in the video. At the time of doing that, I was uh, having an Instagram exchange with uh, Dave Outdoors, and I'd like to uh, set him a little challenge. I know from his videos that he's uh, always up for a laugh. Um, so I'd like him to uh, do a tent disco in his next video, him and uh, a Shropshire lad. And we'll try and get this trending up and down the country. Try and get tent discos in everybody's uh, videos. Lockdown slowly easing. It's time to have a bit more fun. And sometimes these videos can be very serious. So uh, the challenge is there. As you can see, no trace has been left. <laughs> 